how to use public transport in Australia. Understanding how to use the public transport when there are so many options can be a bit overwhelming. So in this video, I'm covering how to use the public transport in Australia. So let's get started. During your first months in Australia, public transport is usually going to be your best bet. But for this, you need to first get a public transport card. Bear in mind that these public transport cards are different in each Australian state. Let me explain. If you're in Melbourne, you're going to need a Mikey card, but you can't use this card in Sydney. If you're in Sydney, you're going to need the Opal. And if you're in Brisbane, you're going to need the Go card. And if you're in Perth, the card is called Smart Rider. And if you're in Adelaide, you're going to need the Metro card. If you're in Tasmania, the Green card. And if you're in Canberra, My Way. Where can you get these cards? usually at any convenience store or 7-Eleven or at any train station. If you're in Sydney and you don't want to commit to buying a public transport card, you can actually use your phone to pay. You just need to have your credit card in your phone. You can tap and pay and you're ready to go. To top up these cards, that is to put money in them, you have a range of options depending on the state that you're living in. Usually you can do this online or at any train station. I usually do it online because it's very easy and quick. Another thing that I highly recommend doing is taking Google Maps to see how long it will take you to get to your destination and what a specific bus or train you need to take. It's very simple, you just need to open the Google Maps application and type in the name of your destination and you're going to get different public transport options, times and routes and you can choose the one that suits you most. You can also filter by arrival or departure time so you know when you have to leave. Another tip using Google Maps, make sure that you are at the right platform if you are taking the train or that you are at the right bus stop because sometimes this can be a bit confusing so always double check and when in doubt, ask. Okay, another concept that you need to know about public transport here is the concept of touch on and touch off. For example, when you arrive at the train station, you're going to need to touch on, and then when you leave the train or the train station, you're going to touch off. This is the same for the bus and for the tram. If you don't touch off, you will get charged extra. So bear that in mind. You need to register your public transport card in case you lose it. You can do this all online. Just register your public transport card number under your name. And if you lose it and you had $50 in it, you can transfer all that money into a new card. So I highly recommend doing that. And last but not least, if you're a student, you can get public transport discounts, so take advantage of that. And if you are working at a professional job, ask HR because sometimes you can actually get annual discounts for public transport. So ask. This is all for now. I'll see you next time. Bye.